Hello Kitty Island Adventures, next event is coming in just a few days. The Light Time Jubilee starts December 21st and we'll be streaming it live on the channel and today we got a sneak peek at what it's going to be and of course it looks super cute. From the information shared already we know that the event is based on Bad Tomorrow wanting to celebrate the end of the year in a brilliant way, the Light Time Jubilee. He's building the biggest light display ever by stringing up lights all over the resort when they turn on. It's going to look amazing, assuming you and get it working. So the player is going to have to help Batsmaru get all these lights around the island to actually light up. They tell us that we need to gather up special lights from Celebrations Past to bring the glow back to the island and send off the year with a beautiful blend of friendship and light and of course, festive rewards await you. And today we got our first complete look at what this event is going to look like through the newest trailer. We have seen little previews from the new starting soon screen with that light up palm tree and the new daily events calendar that's been counting down and we saw some outfits on there but today we got to see so much more. So starting off in the trailer we get to see that there looks to be a new floor and wallpaper. These new standing light up burst items. We have arches. We have a mirror in the back. And then the adorable bunny player character seems to have a new outfit. I'm thinking this is a jacket and pants. And then also has a new hair accessory. This is the first one I think we've seen since the spooky celebration bat bow. And all of this lights up. And it looks like all of the lights are going to be constantly changing colors as well. We see the player character wearing a sweater we haven't seen in game yet. I'm wondering if this is Kurobi's sweater from the Give and Gather celebration. In the trailer they show us that Smaru is about to light up the lights they turn on and then they turn off and he is really sad and it looks like the player character is standing just off to the side ready to help. From the trailer it looks like we will be collecting light bulbs similar to the way we collected sunscreen in the summer's end celebration. I do appreciate that they seem to be lit up just slightly and the trailer shows us a few different locations. Note that in this third location this is not one where we've seen the sunscreen appear before so maybe they'll be more widespread but also in the background we see a strawberry crate on the ground and I don't know if that's because most of these shots seem to be pretty early in the game because we do see some other things around like the Gudetama and the airplane trophy so this could just be one of those week one strawberry crates or it could be hinting at more strawberry crates and then we see the player go up to one of these starbursts and it looks like they may be putting the light bulb into it and as they do the entire resort lights up so I wonder if we're gonna see this around the island or just in the main resort area that will be using the light bulbs to actually restore the light and then after they do you see them have a conversation with Batsmaru and they receive an item likely in return for helping restore the lights. We see additional clothing items it looks like there is a top with light up bracelets a light up skirt a light up jacket I think there's pants in there and the hair thing we saw earlier and we see the lights extending through this pathway I think that's going back to the cozy Isles, but I'm not quite sure. And we do see two pictures of the friends, so I do wonder is there going to be a multiplayer aspect added on to this? There are a lot of dancing and jumping emotes. It looks really fun. All of the buildings are decked out, and we see so many different light up items. I'm not sure how many of the light up items are collectible, but we do have our collections tab that shows quite a few of them. So this looks like it's going to be another super cute event. We'll be streaming it live on the channel on the 21st when the event drops and probably at some point after that as well. Subscribe for more Hello Kitty Island Adventure content and turn on notifications to find out the next time we go live. Hope to see you there.